house fly and its control body structure of house fly there are several kinds of house flies our common indian house fly is musca nebulo it is very common in houses and is also found wherever there is any sort of organic food its body has a distinct head thorax and abdomen the head bears two compound eyes the antennae are small but very efficient for smelling substances from a distance the mouth parts are in the form of a tubular proboscis for sucking the flies suck liquid food from exposed eatables or even from decaying organic matter including human and animal excreta the thorax carries three pairs of legs the legs have sharp claws and spines which help the fly to cling to objects the fly has only one pair of thin transparent wings which actually are the front wings the abdomen is soft and somewhat narrowly joined with the thorax feeding of house fly the house fly feeds on all kinds of organic food both animal and plant in origin it is particularly attracted to sweet food stuffs and rotting meat the house fly directly sucks the juicy that is liquid portions sometimes it moistens soluble food stuffs such as sugar by wetting it with its own saliva it also vomits or regurgitates food which it has swallowed economic importance of house fly the house fly is a kind of natural scavenger cleaning and consuming the leftovers of the food etc but the dangers which the house fly poses to human life are so serious that it is often designated as public enemy number 1 it spreads numerous diseases including dysentery cholera typhoid etc spread of diseases by house fly number 1 hairy body and legs pick up filth the body and especially the legs are hairy or spiny they easily pick up filth containing germs from dirty places such a fly contaminates our food by sitting on it a resting house fly always keep on rubbing its legs against themselves and over the body thus dropping particles of filth number 2 pouring out saliva food is also contaminated with germs when the house fly moistens the food stuffs by pouring out its saliva on it or when it vomits that is regurgitates food which it has swallowed from dirty places number 3 excreta it deposits its excreta while it feeds and thus contaminates human food number 4 direct transmission of germs sometimes it's directly conveys the infection for example germs of trichoma that is a disease of the eye are directly transferred when a fly which once settled on the infected eye of a patient next time sits on the eyes of a healthy person control of house fly there are several methods to control house flies number 1 elimination of breeding places 
all refuse from houses and all animal and human excreta should be removed at regular and frequent intervals and disposed of in such a way that the flies cannot breed in it. If the refuse be covered by a layer of earth, enough heat is produced in it by decomposition, which is sufficient to kill the maggots, if any. Number 2. Spraying Houses and breeding places should be sprayed with DDT and other insecticides. Number 3. Avoidance Food should be kept well protected and covered. Flies should not be allowed to sit on the body. Sleeping babies should be protected by baby umbrellas. Mosquitoes and their control Mosquitoes and diseases Anopheles spreads malaria in man, monkeys and birds, etc. The malaria germ is a protozoan plasmodium. Culex spreads elephantiasis, that is filariasis, caused by a nematode worm, Vocararia. A third mosquito, Aedes, spreads yellow fever and dengue, both caused by their respective viruses. The germs of these diseases are spread when the mosquitoes bite to suck blood. With this blood, the mosquitoes receive germs of the particular disease, which grow and multiply within their body. When such infected mosquitoes bite a healthy person, these germs are introduced into his body through the saliva. Before sucking blood, the mosquito first injects its saliva into the skin, which contains a substance that prevents clotting of blood to facilitate suction. Control of Mosquitoes Number 1. Personal Protection Use of mosquito repellents Use of mosquito net while sleeping Protective clothing that covers the exposed parts of the body, especially after sunset Number 2. Control of Breeding A. Elimination of Breeding Places Small ponds can be filled with mud. For large ponds and swamps, digging a sloping ditch removes large volumes of water. B. Destruction of Larvae Breeding places are sprayed with petroleum oil or insecticides. The oil film on the water surface is, is toxic to the larva that comes to the surface to breathe air. Insecticides kill the larva and the algae on which they feed. Number 3. Control of Adults A. Spraying liquid insecticides like flit or DDT and fumigation of dwellings with sulfur dioxide. B. A mixture of water and 10% DDT in oil sprayed from air kills large number of mosquitoes in town, ponds, marshes and forests. Control of Cockroaches Number 1. Non-Chemical Control Cockroach control requires a combination of methods. Preventing access to shelter, food and water around the home is one of the best control measures both outside and inside. Good sanitation is important both inside and outside the house. It is often the best control measure for cockroaches. Keep food and garbage in tight containers.
clean up all crumbs and spills on floors, counters and shelves as soon as possible. Keep faucets and drains under sinks and appliances in good repair. Do not let water stand in the sink for a long period of time. Keep clutter from accumulating, especially in kitchen and bathrooms. Cockroaches often hide in messy cabinets and in stacks of newspapers, bags and rags. Vacuum often. Vacuuming is very important because it can remove all small food crumbs and cockroach egg cases that may not be killed by insecticides. Chemical control. Most indoor products come in a dust, bait or spray form. These should be applied in wall voids and crevices where roaches hide. Dust are slow acting but they give long lasting control. Boric acid is most commonly used for cockroach control. Boric acid should be applied as a thin film in out of the way places such as under refrigerator, stoves and sinks, as well as in wall voids, cracks and crevices. It should not be applied in open areas such as on shelves and counters where food and utensils are kept. Never place in reach of children and pets. Baits usually come in plastic stations or in a gel tube. Some of the commonly used insecticides in baits include hydromethylnone, sulfuramid and evomectin. Sprays in either liquid or aerosol form generally provide the quickest control of cockroaches. Insecticides commonly used in indoor sprays include elytrin, diazinon, chlorpyrifos, hydroprene, permethrin, pyrethrins, and resmethrin. Never spray into or around electrical outlets. Some exposed surfaces where cockroaches crawl can be treated but food preparation and eating areas should be avoided. Some sprays may damage carpets, tiles or plastics. Outdoors homeowner products for cockroach control are mostly limited to liquid sprays. Just as indoors, the spray should be applied to cracks and crevices where cockroaches are suspected of living or entering the home. A perimeter treatment along the base of the foundation wall can also help control the larger outdoor cockroaches. Large-scale insecticide applications are best applied by a professional pest control applicator. Rat, a domestic pest. Number 1. Control of rats. Rats are serious domestic pests. Besides eating grain and other foods, they also spread germs of certain diseases. Rat fleas, a parasite which lives on rat skin. It may carry germs of plague. Plague has spread as a serious epidemic during the earlier part of 20th century in many parts of the world, killing a number of people. Rats should be trapped and disposed of or be killed by suitable rat poisons, that is raticides. Bad Habits Harmful Effects of Consuming Tobacco Smoking and chewing tobacco or tobacco products increase the risk of lung cancer, heart attack, high blood pressure, cough and irritation.
even non-smokers sitting with active smokers may suffer from such diseases. This is known as passive smoking. Harmful effects of drinking alcohol. Alcohol is a slow poison which affects the mental and physical processes of the body. Alcohol may cause damage to the nervous system, blood vessels, the kidneys and the stomach. Excess alcohol causes damage to the liver and gets stored in the form of fat. Alcohol drinking impairs judgment and reduces self-control. It also affects muscle coordination of the body, resulting in accidents. Harmful effects of drugs Drugs which cause insensible condition in human beings are called narcotic drugs or psychotropic drugs. Example morphine, cocaine, heroin and opium. Such drugs cause serious damage to the nervous system and other organs of the body. They affect eyesight and hearing capacity and cause respiratory and heart problems. Due to the habitual use of drugs, addicts find it hard to leave them and may suffer from a variety of health problems and early death.